What the flip is this chick doing? Hello. I like me better when I'm with you. What's up everyone? It's me, the Pope Jump. Back with you guys again. Waha. Okay, so last week you saw my Toledo Zoo video, which was really crazy. I couldn't believe that I actually did a Toledo Zoo video and I actually showed you it. I did that one back in October. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was back when you could actually wear just jackets. Now you gotta wear winter coats that's freezing to death. But anyway, I'm reading the birthday gift I got from my dad at Allegiant. I can't believe I'm on the third book so far. I gotta tell you, the third book and the second book is a lot different from the first book from the third movie and the second movie. The first movie and the set and the first book was very, 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 very accurate. I mean, it was pretty close. Sort of accurate, pretty close. But the second and third book and the second and third movie were not accurate at all. I mean, there were some differences in there. I mean, and the, I mean, in the second movie, you had where Janine, the one female Hitler, was murdered by Evelyn. But in the book, you have it where Tori actually kills Janine by stabbing her, not shooting her, by stabbing her. And Tris is shocked by what she sees and tries to keep Janine alive to open up the information that Janine has taken from her parents. But really, Tori kills her anyway. But they were still able to open up the information, and the message on there was totally different from the message in the movie. It was completely different. That's why I thought the book was a lot better in the movie. Plus, the book had a lot more action in it. I mean, you're reading the book, and you're actually picturing a movie in your mind. It was crazy. That's how great this book was. This, these books takes me about two to three days to finish. So far, this is my second day reading, and I'm on page 166 so far. I got to page 100 last night, but... Right now, I'm on page 166 tonight, and I'll get to 200 tonight as well. I'm gonna keep reading. But today, I couldn't be able to read that much because I was working on a really big um, project I was doing for you guys, and I gave you a hint what I was doing since I'm telling you about these books so far, Divergent. Yeah, that's my hint for you. So that's all I'm gonna talk about my project with today. But I gotta discuss with you something. There were some things I really did not like in the second book that were really bothering me. One of them was, the one person I hate the most was Eric. Eric kills people. He has no hesitation for killing people, such as when he's killing the 11-year-old boy, Bobby, who was the candor boy that he shot, who was also diverged. He killed him with no emotion. But I did like how Tobias killed Eric by, you know, just shooting him. I mean, Eric had to go. He was the most horrible person ever. I was really surprised that Max died in this second book. Because in the third movie, you have it to where he's in having a trial, but then all of a sudden he gets killed when he's found guilty in the trial. And he says he doesn't want to die, but Evan says neither does he sheep. Therefore, Edward kills him. Also, Max gets killed by Lynn, who shoots him in the chest, and Max is, Max is choking on his blood, and he dies. Yeah. Good for him. I do have some favorite characters on there. The main protagonist, Trish Pryor, she's sort of my favorite. I mean, she is my favorite. But sort of because she's a very stubborn girl and she's kind of naive at the same time because she's not really that smart. She is at figuring stuff out like really, but she's not that smart. Oh well. It stinks to be her anyway. However, I do like the fact that she's is, is she's a girl who will never stop trying and she will never stop fighting for what she believes in, even if she means sacrificing herself. Like she nearly experiences death twice. In the first book, she's trapped in the She's about to get drowned to death. And her mother rescues her. In the second book, Janine and tries to inject her with a death serum. And yet, Peter switches the serum. And that way, the one that she injects her will make her go limp and paralyzed. Yet she can't move. And just she's still alive. So, I like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this project, okay? While you're doing that, I'll be reading this book. I love this kid. Shadow 
If you did, please give a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I really hope you follow my other social medias that I have as well. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video with me, okay?